old is this? Someone could have cleaned this up, right? Looks like everybody left mid-meeting. I'm lucky you bastards left your research before you fled. All of the Chosen are in here. Here, Mr. Reed. Just when I was starting to think I'd come on too strongly. You have an odd way of making advances. You're hardly the charmer yourself. I was hoping we could talk. It's the least you could do after bringing those gentlemen along. So you're here on some kind of... what? Pilgrimage? This is where my family once gathered, before descending into the depths, never to see the sun again. They left me here. Punishment for being a disappointment. Lacking the curse they wanted to exploit, as if that were all I was. Those gentlemen were here when I arrived. Tell me. What were they after? They have been a nuisance, hounding me for some time. I don't know their leader, but whoever they are, they're determined. And so you slaughtered them. They wanted me dead. I retaliated. If I looked, Mr. Reed, would I not find your hands soiled the same way? You saved my life at the Temple of Dagon. Why? How could I not? I suspected that you too were chosen. As it turns out, I was right. We walked the same path, you and I. I extended only the courtesy of a fellow traveler. Nothing more, nothing less. That's reassuring. I was told the chosen all go insane. Is it true? All of them. No ordinary human can bear the curse, but I... I was destined to carry this burden, trained for it. It is mine alone, yet still I am denied it. I can't let you have the seal. Now, Charles, let's be civilized. By now you know enough to understand what this entails. I'll make you an offer. I have been groomed for this. I have waited my entire life for this. I am chosen. 
I am chosen. Let me free you from the burden. Kill me, you mean? Yeah, I found your cozy little cemetery in the manor cellar. All those satisfied customers. Yes, yes. There were some early complications with the ritual, but how could Tikanar itself will guide my hand? You better start making sense, Blackwood. I can extract the dreamer's seed from you. I will bear this burden and carry it into the Stygian depths below the city. And you shall be free. Free to help me in this quest on an equal footing, or to flee the city with your sanity. It can't be that easy. None of it was easy. I have given everything I have, everything, to be here. I know this is my fate. Our fate. You can be saved, Mr. Reed. Let me help. I beg you, this is not where your journey ends. I've seen what happened to your other guinea pigs, and I'm not eager to join them. I'm leaving. I can't let you do that, Charles. You had a choice, and you chose wrong. Death awaits any man who would stand between me and my destiny. If it's the only way to keep my marbles in this forsaken city, then... Okay, let's do it. Ah, Charles, you are a wise and courageous man. Please, lie down on the altar so we may begin. Lie down on the altar, Mr. Reed. crack under my weight? Sure, I could lose a few pounds, but still... odd. Oh, damn. Ah, you poor dead bastard. Charles, no! What are you doing? Return to the altar! Fool! This one is beyond your reach. Your path ends here. Charles, no! What? Fool! This one is beyond your reach. Your path ends here. <sighs> Something inside me fought the ritual. It, it overcame me and I... I killed Evernote. I killed him with my bare hands. <sighs> 